Hey, it's Tanil here from Dog Matters, and today I've got a quick tip for you about how to get your dog to respond to a verbal command. Now, Lola and I are working in the office today, and I was just on the forums in our virtual dog school where our members can ask us questions about the video lessons and that sort of thing. And one of our members, Melissa, pointed out that she's learned a new skill about how to get her dog to learn the verbal command to the drop position, the drop command, rather than needing the hand signal every time. Now, if you think your dog knows the verbal command already, here's a test for you. And you can do this with any command that your dog knows. See if you can stand straight, blank faced, and don't move any part of your body. Say the command and see if your dog still knows what to do. You'll be surprised a lot of dogs don't actually know the word that you're saying, but they're relying on your body language. This is because for dogs, body language is their first language. It's the way that they naturally communicate to each other. So learning a verbal word of English is a lot more foreign to them. So to get the dog to learn the verbal command is actually more impressive if the dog can do that on its own than if they follow a hand signal on their own. So how do we get them to do this? Well, the key is to say your verbal command before you move any part of your body, and then your dog can learn the verbal word by prediction. Dogs learn a lot by prediction. So what you would do is say you are working on the drop command and the dog can do it on a hand signal by following your hand towards the ground. You would get the dog's attention, you would say drop, and then give the hand signal about a second or half a second after you've said the word, but the key is that it's after. Even if you move your hand at the same time as you say the command, the dog will still rely on your body language and your hand movement and not be learning the word. So give that a try with your dog. See if you can get your dog predicting that after you say that command, you're going to do the hand signal and they'll be getting into that position before you move your body. See how you go with that. Let me know in the comments how your dog does with the challenge. That's my tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.